That's why I love Joe Burrow, man. That's why I absolutely love Joe Burrow. <laughs> so Joe Burrow talked about the taunting issues in the NFL. Not that the issue is players taunt, because no, shouldn't be a penalty in any way possible. It's actually he has a problem that players are getting penalized for taunting. You know, like when you make crazy play, you get the first down. Like, remember Chase Claypool in that Steelers game versus the Vikings? You guys remember that play where he started taunting like this? That he got a first down and the clock ran out and the Steelers lost? <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> no, on a real note, though, it, it gets a little ridiculous. Like, I mean, the players can't even have fun anymore. The no fun league is literally what the NFL has become because of the stupid taunting 15-yard penalty. And I get it, at the end of the day, the whole point is, number one, they're trying to avoid fights. And the more you taunt, the more fights are going to happen. And when you have, you know, grown men who are already pissed off that they just got destroyed on the play, you taunting in their face is going to start and escalate a whole entire fight, right? That's number one. Number two, it's because the children are watching. And yeah, some of these players, when they taunt, they can get a little bit X-rated when they taunt. So, I get I get it to a certain degree. But, I mean, it's now at this point where, for example, another time, Bears versus a Steelers game a couple years back, the Bears linebacker, after he got the sack, he just looked at the Steelers' sideline, right? Ten seconds. Walked away. Taunting. How was that taunting? Because apparently he didn't say anything to the Steelers' uh, sideline, but because he looked at them, they said that he was trying to instigate something by looking at them. After the game was over, they looked back and found out he wasn't even looking at the Steelers' sideline. He was actually looking at the referee across the field, but it was in the same area. So they called taunting, which gave the Steelers a first down, which that play was fourth and eight, uh, after the sack. I think it was like fourth and 12. That gave them the first down, which continued their drive. They kicked the field goal in the end off that drive. So again, like I said, it's like taunting is to a point now... It's so vague and so open that refs kind of use it as a way to just throw a flag to throw a flag and change around football games. This is why the drop tackle being illegal but now also penalized is going to be so annoying because it's so vague and open up to it. So what Joe had to say about the whole situation, he said, yeah, I'm pro-taunting. We're all grown adults. Um... Actually, let me move this over so you guys can see it. Uh, we're all grown adults uh, that work really hard at what we do. And sometimes we like to show it. I'm not going to get my feelings hurt if someone sacks me and treats me and uh, taunts me like you made a play. I get it. Like, good for you. And, yeah, that's my whole perspective has always been with taunting is that it's stupid. It really is. I mean, Josh Allen scored a touchdown versus us, looked back and pointed at Logan Wilson. That was 15 yards. What, what, in what way did Logan Wilson get hurt or something bad happened to Logan Wilson? He just pointed at him. It's stupid. It's, it's a way for the NFL, also number three, a way for the NFL to make money because they find these players for these tauntings. They find them depending on what they do, and then the NFL gets a free cash from these players. It's, it's ridiculous. It really is. And as Joe said, yeah, I, again, unless you go, like, crazy, oh, like, insane, but even then, I mean, look at Chad Johnson. The best thing about Chad Johnson when he played was his antics. It was his outlandish behavior when it came to taunting. The guy went up to the referees and gave them $3 to try to bribe the referees. That's why we love the NFL. It's entertainment. At the end of the day, that's really what football is. And especially with how the refs change around ball games, it is entertainment to an extreme degree. It's less of a sport at this point. Like, the NFL is going and gearing toward it being not even a sport anymore. It's now not even like, oh, this is competitive sports. No, this is like, at this point, just entertainment business. That's really what it is. I mean, you watch other sports to a certain degree. Um, let's say basketball. But yeah, basketball. 
it's more or less just like, okay, well, the skill of the teams going against one another, and then you just go down the list of other sports as well. Football is more just entertainment. It's like WWE. It feels like WWE. It feels like everything is scripted to a certain degree. The referees can change around the ball game, and this stupid taunting thing has made everything worse because all it's doing is opening up a vague definition for everyone to be able to just, you know, get flags thrown on them every single second. So this whole situation started, so I talked about, and it, it came from Zay Flowers, who was complaining on Twitter about the fact that, you know, in the AS Championship game, that obviously taunting call happened, and after that big catch, they will move back 15 yards. Following play, he fumbles the ball. So... Yeah, it, again, like I said, it's stupid. It really is stupid at the end of the day. But this is just how the NFL is gearing and how they're going toward. And, well, yes, it's fun to do trash talk. It's funny, you know, fun to uh, go ahead and, you know, taunt a little bit. The NFL doesn't want any of that. They want it to be flag football and everyone happy and smiling every single play. And every single player acts like Andrew Luck. But... It, it's 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 sad to see how much I feel like they're trying to take away this gladiator sport, right? And again, as I've said many times in the channel, as long as you're not trying to purposely hurt somebody, you're not head hunting, you're not twisting ankles, you're not purposely trying to go for the knees or the ACLs. Let players play, okay? Let players have fun. Let football players be football players. We're paying them millions of dollars. Well, obviously not us. But the NFL is paying them millions upon millions of dollars to go out there and play at a very high level. And the more the referees change around ball games and determine how things go, the less it is about being competitive and being a sport. And the more it is about just being a show. And, you know, hey, listen, if the NFL is just going to become like a Netflix special, I mean, with how much, you know, they're going toward streaming platforms like Peacock and, you know. Peacock? What else are they streaming on? Uh, oh, Paramount Plus and all those. Yeah, whatever. With all those, like, streaming platforms, it's now becoming like it's like a Netflix uh, show. Like, oh, yeah, it's a re reality TV show, pretty much. And it's kind of getting ridiculous. And this whole DraftKings pushing it down your throat. That's why, again, like I said, I've turned down so many offers on this channel to promote any type of gambling, DraftKings, sports books. I don't do it. I will never promote those websites because not only I don't want you guys to lose money. I never want to be promoting something that you guys could lose money, or, you know, impact your life and uh, negatively impact your life. But it's also... You guys see it enough in football. You don't have to watch my channel and see, you know, oh, hey, guys, DraftKings. Haha, <laughs> remember? You, you watch football, and football has DraftKings. You watch DraftKings on this channel, too. No, no I don't. I, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so, ramble aside, guys. I agree with Joe. I agree with Joe. That's my quarterback. <laughs> That's my quarterback. <laughs>